nice touch. Hi guys, Zeno Froman back with another installment of Fishing with Lures. Uh, as you know by now, I am the co-founder of Surfcasters Journal, the author of Art of Surfcasting with Lures. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about which lures to use when what particular bait is present. Um, this is a difficult subject only because a lot of times we're guessing, we don't exactly know what's there. And we are trying to figure out what are they feeding on, what would they eat or what would they hit the best but the thing is is if you're catching fish you're not going to stop catching fish on that and try something else to see if that's even better if this make any sense to you uh, most of us will not if we're banging fish on every cast we're not going to go like well I'm bored let me try something else now We've done this. I mean, it, I asked Tommy, Cuddy Hunk, we, there's so many fish sometimes on certain spots that we just switch over to bucktail because we just don't want to be bothered with trebles and the fish are not that big anyway. Or you go with rig deals and try to eliminate all the smaller fish. I've done that plenty of times. But that had nothing to do with what bait was present at the time. You, you, you see what I'm saying? That had to do more with releasing fish safely and not getting impaled on the hooks because of small fish trashing around. So... My point is, although I know well what works and what doesn't, you know, in general sense, most of the time when we do fish, we don't know what's present. And that's why, in some ways, the bucktails are so effective all the time because they work, doesn't matter which bait fish is present, in my opinion, um, because you can do so much with them. Let's try with the simplest uh, thing, which really is, in a lot of ways, the most not difficult one but it's it's the one where the fish are on you're having a hard time with everything else okay when a fish are on squid when a fish are on bunker when a fish are on herring any wide body bait mullet uh butterfish i don't care it's baby weak fish they will hit the pop at the metal lip the, the daughter but when a fish are on sand deals <laughs> you can throw your pencil popper all day long a lot of times they will not touch it. They will not touch it. And then you throw a SP minnow or a thin, you know, a, you know, something narrow like this and you're into fish. You throw a teaser in there and they're all over it. Yet a pencil pop or a metal lip will get ignored all day long. Now I'm not saying all the time, but a lot of times. Enough times where you just, you don't want to force your hand onto the fish that don't want to eat what you're giving them. That's my point of this whole video. It's like, why would you want to throw stuff that's not going to work? Or that's going to work one out of a thousand times when everybody else is grab, catching fish on what you should be throwing. Okay, so, sand eels. Obviously, greenish in colors. You know, even a bucktails, obviously, best work in green. Although, in my personal experience, the white works just as well uh, when it comes to sand eels. The lure, the bucktails is not as much as important. The green... Bucktails we usually use in a discolored water more than we use for sand deals as far as the color is. But for the uh, for the uh, the bite on the on the uh, sand deal bite, you know, you'll use something like this, where you have uh, it's called an eel color actually or sand deal color. You know, green at top and obviously a lighter bottom. Every lure or every plug should do the same. Obviously, have some darker top and, and lighter on the bottom because that's just the way the bait fish uh, all of them are made so when it comes to that needlefish uh, stuff like this like jetty ghost these little tins that, that look exactly like a needlefish uh, anything from deadly dicks to to a-ok -okay, uh, lures to um, what do you call uh, charlie graves is great anything with green tubes works I mean, green tubes kind of get silly. Green and red tubes sometimes in the fall. You just got to have them. And if you don't have them, uh, you're doing a lot of watching and not a lot of, uh, not a lot of catching. I find that, you know, small needlefish obviously work. But so do um, 
Sluggles. I find sluggles to work when a, when a sand deal bite is good. The thing about sand deal bite, and you know, all bucktails with the trailer. To me, that's important. A single trailer, it's always better than a, than a bucktail just bare. Uh, I always find it uh, to, to work better. The thing about sand deal bite, and I mentioned this in another video, unlike these other um, uh, bait fish, which might be squid or a bunker or whatever the migrating bait fish is, you know, they move from this inlet to that inlet, from this beach to that beach. The sand eels come from deep water and they come to in the shallow water, okay? They don't go anywhere. So if you are fishing, um, let's just say, um, Sandy Hook, right? And there's sand eels there. And there's no sand eels in LBI. The chances of those sand eels from Sandy Hook come to LBI are almost zero. And the chances of a guy in the Sandy Hook crushing fish for days and you sucking wind there for days are about 90%. Okay, my point is the sand eels don't migrate east to west, north to south. You know, they come in from deep water in the shallow water and then they go back. So the fish will often feed where the sand deals are. And then when bite is over, they will move in deep water and go around your area. My point is when, when fish on sand deals, just... Not knowing what to throw is not enough. You need also to go where the fish are, okay? So that's important to me because these other bait fish you can work around where you can figure out where the fish were yesterday, try to intercept them tomorrow. The spots that usually work during mullet runs, the jetties coming out of the inlet, sandbar, all this other stuff you can kind of put in your head based on your prior experience. But if the sand deals are in Shinnecock and they're not in Jones Beach, Boy, you got a problem because they're not coming to you and you're going to hear all these reports and you're going to be like, oh, maybe tomorrow will be the day or the next day. And next thing you know, it's Thanksgiving. You're eating turkey. You haven't caught a fucking bass because you didn't want to go there. And that, I'm sorry, I hate to tell you this, but this happened to me <laughs> too many times. So it is what it is. So I'm just going to be honest about it. Sand deal bite, go where, this, where the bite is. Don't wait for it. Uh, mackerel, you guys up in north, you're lucky. You got mackerel. We used to have mackerels. We don't have mackerel. Um, stuff like this, big Yazuri um, daughter. Obviously, my personal choice is um, daughter, super strike. Why is this stuck? Wow, that's pretty bad. Stuck around here, I guess. Uh, super strike daughter, um, top water, um, something like uh, mackerel daughters. Uh, guppies, obviously, being very popular. Um, in the Massachusetts, you know, Yozuri uh, makes the mackerel daughters. So something wide body that, that throws a lot of water or something that gives up a, a big target. Um, obviously, this is the, 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 the daughter is almost a spitting image of, of, of mackerel. But then again, you know, you guys might have a horse mackerel. You might have a thinker mackerel. They, they also differ in size. Uh, obviously, metal lips work too. I, I'm not going to discount that. Anything that's in that kind of a size you know when it comes to squid because the, the way the squid moves obviously you want something pink that's always been you know the pink has been the squid thing the pink the pink uh bucktails the pink um needlefish pink daughters huge when you when they're feeding on squid if you know the squids in the area pink daughters are number one in my opinion number one the first thing that i would throw um, they actually move the way the squid moves a little bit with a zigzag. You know, needlefish with a hair, you can kind of pulsate. Uh, bucktails, obviously. I mean, just the fact that you, every time you drop the tip on a bucktail, it's going to flare out. It's going to look like squid. So that goes without saying. Uh, would a pencil pop with that squid? Yeah, I mean, if squid, if squid are leaping out of the water, which we have seen before, of course, uh, uh, it's a good choice. Um, metal lip, eh. You know what? I never associate metal lip with squid because squid tends to move and burst and fast, and metal lip doesn't go anywhere fast. Okay? To me, metal lip is more when there's a big bunker around. All right, big bunker is big target. Big fish are zoning in on big things. Okay? So what would you want to throw? Something big, a big, you know, Gary. This is a small Gary uh, flung, but I'd go bigger than that. Uh, big Adam 40, big pencil pop, a lot of commotion. You want to give them a big target. If you're fishing deeper water, you know, you want to go with something big. This is a, you know, six-inch tsunami. You want to go with something big. You don't want to go with thin. You go, if you're going to use a bucktail, obviously, you'd have to use a, a fairly big one. Um, the, 
Sometimes the fish tend to zone in on a wide body bait and want a big, big target. You know, does the color matter with bunker? I guess somewhere yellowish, greenish, bluish. I, bunker's got a lot of color, obviously. I don't even know if I have a bunker color, bunker color plug here uh, on. I don't think I see anything. But you know what the standard is. I mean, obviously, don't forget the uh, bottle daughters. I mean, bottle daughters work great with all these lures, okay? Uh, these are uh, North Bar bottle daughters. You know, they work great with, doesn't matter which, which wide body bait fish you have. Uh, they hold in water good. They, they present a big target. Bunker, squid, herring. Obviously, during herring run, what does it, herring run usually comes late. Like, let's say for the people anywhere away from Cape Cod. So, you know, Block Island, Long Island, Jersey, herring run is like Thanksgiving. So, you're going to get your share of pencil papa, big metal lips. Uh, you're gonna get a share of, 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 uh, of bottle plugs. You know, wide body bait, in tight, uh, mullet run, September, usually the first nor'easter, I'm sorry, the first cold front after, you know, September, um, late September, usually when the temperature drops, mullet comes out of the bay. They stay up on the top, okay? They don't go underneath. They stay up on the top and they're very close to shore, which helps you in two ways, blue. You want a blue, and you want a metal lip or a popper casting parallel to the beach because they're so close to the beach, casting further out is usually a waste of, 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 uh, of a cast. Most of the fish are in tight, so you want to go with something blue. Um, they, tend, they do tend to zone in on blue, so blue poppers, blue metal lips, uh, blue Danny type metal lips. Um, in my opinion, the metal lips is kind of the best. Um, way of, of, of using it when, when the fish are on mullet. Um, like I said, bunker, lot of noise, big targets, herring, oh my god, I wish, I hope we see herring again. Like I said, sand eel is a big thing. Sand eel is narrow profile bait, you know, but you do kind of have to move with them. Now, there's all kinds of bait. There's, there, there's uh, baby weak fish. Baby weak fish, they said that's why the daughters are yellow in Montauk, because you had a big migration of baby weak fish, which you know, the weak fish spawn, and in, in, the sum, in the summertime, the baby weak fish get about that big, and they, they all run out of Peconic, and they all come around Montauk, and, and the whole sea is yellow with them, and that's how the you know, yellow daughter imitates her. Yellow during the weak fish run. That makes kind of perfect sense, too. So all these things, you know, with colors, to me, the body type and presentation is more important than a color, uh, because if you're fishing, even bottom, if you're fishing... There's a lot of mullet up on the top, and there's bass, and you know, bluefish chasing them. You throw a chunk in there, you're like, oh my god, I'm just gonna kill the fish. A lot of times you're not, because the fish are looking up, and they, your chunk's on the bottom. So if you throw a bucktail and it's on the bottom, and the fish are looking up at the mullet, they're not gonna look at your bucktail, okay? If you're fishing uh, Montauk, we used to have these white rain bay blitzes over the years, and we have shitload of videos. Here, I'll show you this one. You see, you see all these fish? A lot of guys are not hooking up because these fish are zoned in on one inch anchovies and they want a tiny bucktail like this, which you cannot present with 11 foot rod. So, you know, sometimes the teaser is, is the delivery. The plug is delivery method for a teaser because you can throw a pencil pop or right through those schools and most of the times a lot of those fish will ignore it. So my point is having your, your, your proper size in a proper water column it's a lot more important than, you know, shape of, uh, I mean, the color of the lure if, if you match it exactly to the color. You know, yes, green during the sand deals will, will work better. The blue during the mullet run will work better. The pink does, but you know what? Listen, if I'm on a squid or I see a squid and I throw a pink daughter and I'm starting banging fish, I'm not going to a black squid. I'm staying with pink squid. Uh, you know, so do, does it really work better than anything else? I guess. I, my mind's going to switch. And if I switch to black and, you know, start banging it on, I'm going to say, so, well, you know what happened is they got tired of pink. And, you know, my point is we play these games with our heads on color-wise. My point is don't get too locked in on colors. Size, matching the size and where they're feeding in the water column, to me it's more important than the actual color of the law. That's just my opinion. If you like what we do, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, you can check out our magazine at surfcastersjournal.com. 
Uh, we have a lot of uh, stuff that you can uh, you know, log, look at it without having to log on. Um, again, thank you for watching. Um, pay it forward. Uh, please, by all means, if you have a knowledge, share it with other people. Um, and that's about it for today. See you on the beach.